so it's friday happy friday i don't think i've ever wanted it to be friday more than i do this week and it's crazy because i was i didn't come to school on monday because my daughter had an ear infection so it's only been a four-day week for me but it even seems like the four-day weeks are longer that's just the bell So anyway, um, on Fridays, we do something called Flippin' Friday here at my school, and it's mainly centered around doing stations. So um, we opened up class with a little fun blue kit like I showed you guys, because that is literally their favorite thing to do. That's their favorite game to play. They collect coins and get different little um, avatars and stuff. So I wanted, I always wanna do that for them on Friday and give them time to do that. But then let me show you guys how I go through my stations. All right, so I take these baskets um, and I have clipboards on these bas in these baskets with these signs on them. And I put them at the table so they know like which table is which station. So this, for example, is the Lexia station. So when they get to this station, they will do Lexia, which is a um, online program that my district has for um, reading. I also have the reading station today, which is just going to be um, their choice. So I've listed some poems that they can read in our textbook, or they could just read a book of their choice. And then um, towards the end of each rotation, I've got index cards in here for them to write down their thoughts about what their reading was, just so there's a little accountability factor. And I don't want the kids to just like sit there and do nothing. I wanna make sure they read, and I can tell that they read by the little index cards that they turn in, but they still have plenty of time to read. The stations are usually 15 minutes long, and I remind them to do their index card around the last two minutes. Here is my writing station clipboard, and at this station today, the kids are doing more of like grammar than writing. Some days I have them just do journal writing. Some days I even have them do cursive handwriting practice, but today they're actually going to do some grammar practice because we've been talking about the four different um, types of sentences, you know, like declarative, interrogative, imperative, exclamatory. So today for their little writing station activity, they have to do a little bit of grammar work. All right, and then here is my small uh, kidney table. This is my small group table. And at this station today, we're gonna be looking at some of these scholastic, I don't know what these are called. We have a scholastic book room, like a leveled book room. We have a scholastic library here in our school. So I pull the different levels and I do my little small group lessons with these. And they're really good. Um, and if you have a scholastic library at your school, you know. Hold on one second. But they come with cards that basically tell you what to do, what to say. And it's not really scripted, but it gives you all the things that you need in the little bag to have great small group lessons. So like I say, some days I will mix it up and I'll do a game station or a quizzes station and cut one of the other stations out. But I usually stick with four 
um, rotations because I have 90 minute blocks. So for the first couple minutes, I do like morning meeting, small group lesson. And then for the last 60 minutes of the class, we do 15 minute rotations every day. Not every day. On Tuesdays, Thursdays, and flipping Fridays. This is what my um, board looks like when I have, when we do stations so they know, like the names are over here and then what station they're going to and it's color coded. And I always like put up a timer because my board has a timer built in. And so I just do it um, to 15 minutes. And then I usually designate somebody when it dings and goes off. I'll be like, Billy, can you go change? I mean, Billy, can you go reset and start the timer for me? Cause I like never have to get up from my small group. So I'm gonna finish out this block and then it'll be lunchtime. So I'll see you guys again at lunchtime. And then I'm gonna finish out the rest of my day. And then it will be the weekend. I actually had time to go in and I switched those other two out. And I got this because we're starting to talk about poetry. And this Home of the Brave book is written in, in, um, in a series of poems. So I just thought we would read that and that would be really cool. <laughs> everybody we made it through the day and i'm so glad that it's friday and i'm so glad that it's the weekend and i have to take my kids to a birthday party tomorrow but i had a successful week i feel like a successful day today in my classroom and if you want to see any more you just hit like so i know that people like this kind of stuff and then I will hopefully be able to make some more videos soon. And please subscribe to my channel. Please leave a comment. Whatever you want to do to interact with this video will really help me a lot. And I'll see you guys next time.